Implicit remoting is one of the coolest and frankly under-publicized features of PowerShell version 2. So I'm sitting here on a Windows computer and when I run get module you'll see that no modules are actually loaded. I want to use some of the Active Directory commands from the Active Directory module that's supplied with Windows Server 2008 R2. The problem is I don't have that module installed on my computer. Now whether or not I could install it kind of depends on the version of Windows I'm running. Let's pretend for a moment that I'm running Windows XP. So installing that Active Directory module isn't even an option because it's not compatible with Windows XP. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new PS session to a server on my network that does have that module installed. It's a domain controller on my network. I'm going to ask that remote computer to invoke a command. And the command I'm going to have it invoke is to import module Active Directory. Now I need to give invoke command a way to get to that computer, so I'm just going to have it use the session that's already open. You actually saw the little progress dialog pop up there. Now because that session is still open, that copy of PowerShell is still running on the remote machine. And since the process is still running, then that Active Directory module remains loaded. So now all I need to do is import that PS session. I want to import just the Active Directory module. I want to add the prefix rem to the command names that I import. Just helps remind me which commands are local and which ones are remote. And again, I need to give it a session to import them from. So I'm going to give it that one that's already open. Import PS session from computer name server dash r2. That's going to bring a shortcut version of every single command from the Active Directory module over to my computer. So if I run get command noun rem ad star, you'll see all of these Active Directory commands, set ad account control, and so forth, have been added to my computer, and the rem prefix that I specified has been added to the noun portion of those command names. I can ask for help, new rem ad user and it'll actually pull the help over from the remote computer. Get rem ad user minus filter star will retrieve all of the users. So it's like the command is actually running on my computer, but it's not. It's being implicitly remoted, executed by the remote machine, and the results returned to my computer. Now this will continue to work so long as this session object exists and is opened. If I remove that session, and try to do that trick again with new or get rem ad user, it won't work because now I don't have a connection to the computer that physically has that command.